And continuing with our vampire month. Yeah. You should see that Olivia Rodrigo show. Vampire? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen in a while. Oh, you should do it. Oh, please. You, you have a very lovely voice. <laughs> I can provide piano. I know how to play piano. You know guitar, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, I play piano, play guitar, and you sing. We can make it. Great duo, man. You think about it. Stop watching anime. <laughs> All practice, but no, no guarantees. Okay, okay. So, what are we going to talk about today? We decided to talk about Dance the Vampire Bond and Rosar. <laughs> Rosario, why, why are you laughing? <laughs> I was going to say Rosario Dawson. Star Wars? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Rosario Vampire. Rosario Vampire. Yes. Which one do we want to talk about first? Um, let's talk about uh, b Dancing Vampire Bond. Yeah. Okay. So, are you ready? I'm ready. It's 2010. No, it's 20. No, no, no. Don't be funny. <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's 2010. This anime has a 7.07 on my anime list. Okay. The manga has 7.68 on my anime list, but it's the Dancing the Vampire Bond manga. It has. Some spin off, right? We're gonna talk about them later. Let's concentrate about on this anime and the manga, which both of them begin very dif different. It's just if you're watching the manga, you're gonna say, Oh, wait, yeah, the anime began with a, I guess it was a TV show. Well, why are you interrupting me? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's my show, <laughs> but yeah, they both of them begin uh, different. What what do you think? Did you like it? Were you confused? You know, um, I believe that the anime tried to compress so much, and the way it started it, I think it was the best option. It made makes the anime more interesting. The manga is all about, besides the love story, it's all about politics in this manga. Correct. So I guess on the anime they tried to do something a little bit different, and it's my belief. Maybe that's why they didn't get the good feedback they were expecting. Okay. Why is that? Well, yeah, they changed a lot of things. They changed characters. Oh, yeah, they changed gen genders on characters. Yeah. They they were doing different things. Because let's, let's stop. Wait, wait. On Blood, they did Blood A, uh -huh. Blood C, Blood Plus. Correct. So it has... A lot of spin off and plus the mangas, correct. And then, if we go to Vampire D Hunter, it has a, two movies, correct. If we go to The Vampire Dies in No Time, it has two seasons. Rosario Vampire also has two seasons. So, here, but Dancing the Vampire Bond didn't have a second season, no, only 12 episodes, no movies, nothing. And you, why do you think this is happening? Vampires in animes are always so popular. What say you? <laughs> You're gonna continue to say that? Man, I am, have become a Lord of the Rings fan big time, okay? <laughs> okay? So what say you to this? Maybe the fans didn't like it. I have no idea. Uh, I do I do felt, honestly, I do feel a little uncomfortable watching Mina, who is the main character, a vampire who looks like a 12-year-old girl, and most of the time she is almost naked. I mean, she's covering, but I did feel uncomfortable. Even though she's a vampire 100 years old, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, let's talk about the interview with the vampire and the character, um, I forgot her name. Christine Dunst? Oh, she's the actress, yeah. But her character, he, she, she was a girl, so it, I, I, it's the same. I mean, she was a vampire, she was old, but in the girl's body, and here in this anime and manga, it's the same, this is a girl, and I felt very uncomfortable, maybe that's one of the reasons this anime could have not went the way they expect, because maybe people felt like, oh, I'm feeling like a pedo right now, <laughs> I don't think so, <laughs> it's all about the appearances, you know, no, well, yeah, the, they changed a lot of things, a few things, uh, but the manga is more about politics and then the spin-off 
One of them is the Chronicles. Yeah, the Chronicles of. Oh, it's not Narnia. <laughs> I have the title here. Wait. It was first written. Secret Chronicles. Yeah. So, I guess I could have implemented that in the anime, but but but, but, but came later. Okay. But yeah, I agree with you. They implement. They try to. I believe the first 20 chapters on the manga. They try to put it there in the anime. Plus the whole school thing, because Mina tries to unite both human world and vampire world. And yes, it's about politics, and in a way, felt like well, she's a princess, so we're also talking about a kingdom <laughs> ruling. <laughs> yeah, so there is a lot of going on here, and I guess this is one of the things that. People were expecting something and it didn't happen. Maybe this is why they dropped it off. So you're expectulating? Yeah, I'd like to do that. <laughs> but moving on, I do believe that the manga and the anime, both of them were both ways sexualized, but they were very smart. Manga, The manga felt very smart. The anime felt very sexualized, but both of them are very dark and both of them are very, very uncomfortable to watch sometimes <laughs> there is a scene in the anime where they are going to verify if Mina is still a virgin if Mina is active uh, having sexual intercourse oh boy yes do you remember this scene in the anime mm, barely barely do you remember this scene on the manga oh yeah big time yeah yeah you see the difference yeah <laughs> Yeah, very. I agree with you. It was oh man, really, really. Why did they have to? Yeah, why did they have to show it? Not. I mean, they they didn't show it, but they put some pictures here and there. And I guess it was a little sick, you know. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay, just want to make sure that we're on the same page. Did you remember episode seven of the anime? Um, I was the one that they end up like that movie three hundred saying oh oh. Uh, <laughs> No, that was the ending of the anime. Pretty cool, by the way. But no, episode 7, to me, was amazing. One of my favorites, to be honest, and that I have seen in animes of vampires recently. Okay, wow, even better than Blood? Yeah, oh yeah. So it was, it was good. Okay. What about the name Mina? Same as Mina of the Dracula Bram Stoker. That was nice. Yeah, I... Have you seen the movie Dracula? I have seen a couple of them. I believe we covered this on the podcast last year. Yeah, but then nobody listened to the podcast. <laughs> what about we talk about it for a while? Uh, no, no, no. Let's move on with Rosario Vampire. And maybe we can do another video about vampire movies. Okay. So, Rosario Dawson. <laughs> When was the first time you saw Rosario Dawson? <laughs> I believe it was on that movie with Bruce Willis, Sin City. Sin City. That was the one. Yeah. Who was she? I don't remember. I I saw the second one. Oh, the first one is with yeah, the same characters. It's, I believe it's uh Clive Owen is there. The girl from Fantastic Four Summer. Yeah, but that's Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it has great, has a few talents here and there. Yeah. But no, you don't want to talk about movies. You want to talk about anime. Okay. Let's talk about Rosario Vampire, guys. <laughs> this one has two seasons. Yep. And I want to say this in Japanese. Rosario to Vampire. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. You see? I'm learning. And then it has a... Seven, no wait, the season one, this is very interesting, 6.88, my animalist, while the second season has 7.01. Would you agree on this? So season two was better? Yes. Um, about the same, I guess. Uh, yes, I do feel that season two was got a little more interesting, uh, but about the same. I, I think the ratings are okay. Now, this is very, very... I, I really had a good time with this anime. Uh, I was expecting something different. It's a 2008 anime. What were you expecting? I, I I don't know. I was expecting, like, real hands-on vampire, you know, 
killing each other. I mean, we just finished watching Dance with the Vampire Bond and then went to Rosario Vampire. And I guess the expectation was about the same, but this one was very relaxed. I had a good time watching this. It reminds me of Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches. Yes, that's the one. Because all the girls are behind him and he cannot figure out which one he wants. Well, he does. But, you know, <laughs> becomes a harem out of nowhere. <laughs> now, care to explain to us what is this anime about? Well, is this human who accidentally ends up in the Jokai Academy in high school and in this Jokai Academy, everybody is a monster and he ends up meeting this girl and she's a vampire and they fall in love and they try to, I guess, figure things out. Yeah. You mean like how a vampire and a human are gonna date? Uh-huh. But, you know, every single episode there is this new girl that has a crush on him. Uh-huh. And now it's like a competition. Which girl is gonna be... Uh, end up with the guy and at the same time there are other students or monsters you can say that and they are always trying to misbehave and this is where our character the girl vampire she ends up kicking their butts <laughs> yeah talking about our hero mako mako uh, yeah um she has a ro ros rosary how do you say it in english rosary is okay <laughs> anyway Whenever you remove it, her true form will come out. And so comes this girl, which is the same girl, but her previous form, right? Correct. And do you feel that she also fell in love with the guy? Yeah, she did. She actually, she was trying to, she was trying to get some. <laughs> I really, I really like it. It was, again, coming out of, of watching Dance with a Vampire, Dance with a Vampire Band. Seeing this one is very, very relaxing. I really enjoyed it. It's one of those comedy, fantasy, romance, high school, you name it. Yeah, vampire, harem. Well, what is the, how do you say, the germ for, for this type of anime? I believe it's Ichi or Shon, Shonen. Okay. Uh, that, I don't know what that is, but whatever. But it's very important to say that the anime is nothing like the manga. In some ways, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> if you want fan service, go for the anime, right? If you want more plot, uh, especially with the characters, please try the manga. They're both very enjoyable in their own way. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really like to think that the manga was trying to divide the community in some way. Uh, I guess the manga... How, is, how can I say this? The manga makes you fall in love with each of the girls. So you, you as a reader, you were like, oh, I'm going for that girl. Oh, I'm going for this girl. Yeah, exactly. It's like, um, rent a girlfriend. You were like, oh, mommy is good. But at the same time, uh -huh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put it. I, I really agree. I felt it like the anime is a very bad adaptation for the volumes. Which I highly recommend. The, the manga is very, very good. More entertaining. Um, we should hope for a live action. <laughs> some Someday. Some, yeah, keep dreaming. What about you guys? What do you think? Which one do you like best? Rosario Vampire, the manga or the anime? Or Dance with the Vampire? Dance with the Vampire. Dance with the Vampire Bond. Yeah, whatever. Which one do you like best? We'll see you next time. What are we having next time? Another vampire. Yes. The month is not over. Sans giving us around the corner. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.